the 30s and a little rain, but no big deal for the weekend. So traveling, being outside, really not too bad. That's great. Mm -hmm. All right, Jay, thanks. All right. In your health, it's a medical bias that some women have dealt with for years. Having doctors dismiss heart symptoms as anxiety. 13 ABC's Melissa Vach joins us live with a look at how and why the tables are turning for the better on this. Melissa. Well, you know better, you know your body better than anyone. And if you feel there is something that's not right, then you need to pursue a diagnosis aggressively. One local woman's story shows us why it is so important. Yes. Okay. Andrea Brigell spent most of her life with a puzzling heart condition. Dizziness, lightheadedness. I would get near passing out spells. Andrea says doctor after doctor just seemed to dismiss her symptoms. That I was having anxiety issues and that was pretty much it. But Andrea says her instincts were telling her it was something much more serious and it turns out it was. A genetic heart defect called Brugada syndrome. It was diagnosed by Prometica cardiologist Dr. Kamala Tamarisa. These people can have ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Those are those rhythms that uh, cause sudden cardiac arrest. Brugada syndrome can show up at any point in a patient's life. In Andrea's case, her symptoms started in her teen years. It's also strongly genetic. She has several cousins and aunts who have the condition as well. The treatment? Beta blocker medications to keep her heart rate low and an implantable defibrillator. The defibrillator protects them from sudden cardiac arrest, uh, so it shocks them only if they need it. For Andrea, the medication has made all the difference, and she's glad she didn't give up until she got the life-saving diagnosis. You can't give up when you know that there's something wrong. Um, I know sometimes things are truly anxiety, and people want to think it's something other than that, but the symptoms I was having, it, it wasn't anxiety. It was my heart. Now, the majority of deaths from Brugada syndrome happen when a person's asleep. So the added protection of the defibrillator truly can be life-saving. Reporting live, Melissa Vage, 13ABC Action News. Back to you. Well, one of the president's picks on Capitol Hill.